I'm back at Islands of Adventure to have a little fun and of course check up on the Jurassic Coaster. So how about you and I dive right in? You can see in the background that they're starting to take down that main crane that sits in the middle of the project. They were using that to haul in a lot of the heavier stuff, but now they don't need that anymore, so they're gonna dismantle it. And you can see the other cranes are on site, the smaller ones, because all the track work is complete. Let's get a little closer, see what else we can find. And here we go, here's the main attraction, the new Jurassic Coaster being built. And, uh, you know, the, the video and pictures don't do this justice because in person, it's massive. I mean, this is, this is a very big ride and the rock work that they're shaping behind the scaffolding there, it's, I mean, it's gorgeous and it's gonna look like anything down over here. But wow, in person, it's just, it gets better and better. Last time we were out here a few weeks ago, uh, they didn't have the scaffolding that high or at least uh, wrapped up like they do now. And it seems like the progress is just moving along so nicely. They've even installed, the uh, outer fence, like you see in the movies for all the dino cages. So that's gonna be a cool element. I'm, assu I'm assuming they're gonna put glass on this one right here. But this is, uh, this is really nice. It, it, this is going to be, I think, another star attraction of Islands of Adventure. What's awesome is they've had a lot of the team members sign their name on these steel beams right here. So they're forever a part of the Jurassic Coaster. How neat. We have some more work on the perimeter fence. Over here looks like this is a, might be another area for some glass. And then over here we got some, ooh, the rain is a coming down now. But look, we have another crane that's right here. These are the smaller cranes that I was talking about. They're dismantling the bigger one because they don't need them anymore. Because pretty much the ride, as far as the circuit, is complete. Now they're working on all the little tiny details. And they'll move on to programming once they're able to uh, start testing because the new uh, Jurassic Coaster cars have been uh, put on site. And here's another view. Uh, they're starting to add a lot of greenery in here, so we're probably gonna see some bamboo, palm trees, and some bushes low to the ground where the coaster track is. It's gonna look really cool. I think it's gonna blend in quite nice once the project is finished. You can see they have some more greenery going in right at the uh, attraction start, just beyond uh, where you see that bamboo. That's where the station is, the load and unload. And then you'll go maneuver into this building right here, which uh, I'm assuming will be the first show scene. And I think the only show scene, I don't know of any other position in the ride where another show scene will happen. Uh, maybe some effects down and below, uh, beneath this portion when you go up to the top hat over there, the tallest point of the coaster. But uh, yeah, you'll go into this building right here and this is where all the magic will happen. And you'll launch into the first section over there go through the rock work, come around and dive uh, beneath, almost beneath the structure into another portion of the ride. It's gonna be really cool. But that's what they're working on right now. They might be installing something in the middle that we can't really see or big pieces of the rock work because a lot of the uh, rock work comes in like potato chip kind of, you know, I call them potato chips, but chips of steel that are already formed and then when they weld them into place, they put the concrete on, form the concrete and then they go ahead and move on to paint. I feel like they've moved the construction fence out a tiny bit as they work on uh, maybe some concrete work or just enough room so these cranes and lifts can kind of maneuver themselves around the structure. You can see also in that first turnaround into the show building, they've installed some outer metal uh, to cover up the, that, it looks like the, like the padlock kind of fencing. So they've installed that, so that's gonna be kind of neat. I wasn't sure if that was gonna be open uh, or if it was gonna be enclosed and it looks like they're enclosing it. Oh look, there goes BioReconstruct. Here's another good shot of the finale to the Jurassic Coaster, the lead up right before the Heartline roll. Love this stall right here, right after the, that big uh, drop. They have some cranes out here. Don't know what they've been working on. I know they're working on, um, it looks like it's gonna be a thematic element like down here, cause they're like constructing some more like what looks to be some fencing. But yeah, you come up around the stall right here. This is gonna be a fun element. And you flip back around, you start going around the helix. This outer bank turn is going to be a lot of fun. This is the only inversion at this section, and then the heart line roll is down over here. You can see a little closer on the support structure that they have uh, some little brackets on the uh, upper, yeah, like the upper portion of it. And what I'm thinking of is either 
they're gonna put some rock work there or it might be some um, placeholders for like the netting that goes underneath these upside down moments so people don't drop their loose articles on the ground because I'm assuming this will be the pathway that leads to the Lost Continent area because it was open a couple days ago and I think it's gonna be a permanent uh, walkthrough. So this is gonna provide some great views of the coaster when it's flying by. As we're making our way through Seuss Landing, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my Theme Park Obsession members on Buy Me A Coffee. You guys are amazing as always and your support is just a tremendous help to the channel. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to do as much as I've been able to do. So I greatly appreciate it. It means the world to me. If you guys would also like to become a member, for those that haven't, I'll leave the link down below in the description for you to check it out. No pressure, but if you do decide to contribute monthly, it will help the channel out tremendously. Over here at the top of Popeyes, you can see a, a pretty good overview of the second half of the attraction and into the Heartline roll. You can see really closely that they are doing something after that big drop near the bottom of the near the base of the track. Pretty cool stuff. I can't wait to see what they do. Alrighty, voiceover Dylan here. I just wanted to jump on real quick uh, because I forgot to record the audio in the park. But here's a wide shot of uh, most of the second half of the layout, if not all the second half of the layout. Couldn't get, obviously, uh, the portion that leads up into the final break run, but this is a nice shot of the helix leading up into the heartline roll, which you can see right there. And like I said earlier, they're doing work right below uh, that, that huge drop and adding some sort of thematic element. And I'm so looking forward to that. I'm just looking forward to see how they're gonna theme everything. But yep, just a quick overview shot from this angle. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you love theme park content, feel free to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so stay up to date on every time I post new videos. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description. But other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day. And I'll see you next time in the parks. Bye.